So we have 15 hours to drive from Indiana to Colorado. This seat will not be empty. Wish me luck. Hey guys, I'm Antoinette Yvonne, the luxury nomad, and this is my Van Zion. A tremendous goal of mine was to break away from the norm and live life how I desire and where I desired it to be. We are now walking through the city of Jerusalem. Who would have thought this ex-expat would be living in a van full-time, exploring more of her own backyard? After spending the entire summer home in the Midwest, I've gotten the necessary upgrades my van needed and we're back on the road again. Join me on today's video as we normalize the luxury to live free despite our fears. Cheers to doing it anyways. Hey y'all, this video was proudly sponsored by my friends at Karma, an app and browsing extension that ensures you never miss a discount code or a price drop. Click the link in the description box, download the app, and we'll get into it together in just a little bit. Guys, good morning. How y'all doing out there in the house tonight? Hey, hey. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm just wondering everything okay. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm about to pulling up in a couple minutes. Okay. All right. Trying to scrummage around and get prepared because today we literally have 15 hours to drive from Indiana to Colorado. Let us get our visitor, put some road behind us, and I'll talk to you in just a little bit. Hello out there in TV land. Today is my birthday, 60 and still thriving. Oh. Hey, we're in the van life with the one and only Antoinette Yvonne. Oh. I, and I am mother dearest. Yeah. Van life, oh. many places we can go. Van life, got my daughter on the road. guys so in preparation for this trip I was trying to make a mental note of the route from Indiana to Colorado right but in these 30 something years of living my memory is a little sketch <laughs> so I literally have to write schedule insert sketch everything within my calendar especially when I'm going to specific locations and trying to get there in a certain amount of time when I'm driving I want to be sure that I do every single thing that I can to make sure that the drive goes as smooth as possible like smooth you know that T smooth move that's how smooth I want my drives to be do you guys remember when I partnered up with Karma a few videos back to help track my discount codes and get notifications on price drops etc right in a literal sense now that I have my new tires <laughs> new tires who this I know that my trips will pretty much be smooth sailing but seriously, for me, planning is key. From using specific van life apps when I'm driving on my route to literally planning out what comfortable outfit I'm going to wear. Because let's be real, don't nobody want to be stuck in no tight jeans snatched up and you can't breathe on your drive, right? So we've partnered with Karma once again to bring you today's resource for the road. Hey guys, yep, I'm back. Karma, formerly known as ShopTagger, is a free app for your computer or your phone, which allows you to save things from various websites, puts them in one place, get notified when things go on sale, view coupon codes at checkout, all while earning cash back. After signing up using Chrome, you'll add the Karma extension to your top bar panel. It'll then take you to all of the available stores. I'm talking travel picks like Camping World, RV Share, REI, or shop for athleisure wear for those longer drives with brands like Adidas. Honestly, that's the only type of wear that I can fit nowadays, <laughs> but that's beside the point. So going into the Karma app, I'll select from my favorite stores. I love to drive long haul flights in something super comfortable, so this classic Adidas jumper works for me. Clicking on the Karma extension, I'll select my size, choose to be notified of any price drop. I mean, pretty much anything less than $80 will do. Can I get an A, man? <laughs> Then I'll add it to my newly created list. Hit save and now I'll be notified on any price drop 
for this particular item. But listen, other great features of this app to help you with the mindful shopping is creating lists in which I've created because they help me organize my shopping. And when you shop from select retail partners, Armor gives cash back to you and a good cause and automatically saving the coupon codes while you're shopping. Yep, Karma will automatically scan the internet for coupon codes and will apply them at checkout automatically. But that is an added bonus if you're using Karma on Chrome via the extension. So download the Karma app in the description box below and start shopping smarter today. All right, so now that we have that out the way, got some gas, we are ready. All right, we'll do. Thank so you. hit back on the road. Praise be to Jesus. Yes, praise be to Jesus. <laughs> Praise be to Jesus. Five hours. Hard out here for a pimp. Six. I said it's hard out here for a pimp. Oh my. Guys, somebody ditched me. See that seat is empty? That's because she's back there. Just FYI. I'm doing it because it's her birthday, okay? But when you ride with somebody, you know the rules are, unless it is life and death situation, you know to be up front accompanying the person that's driving. But it's her birthday, so I let her I let her have a little time back there. It's so rude. Well guys, it is now my turn to take a nap. Mm, kind of feels good to be back here in my humble abode while someone else is driving in my bed with this fan hitting the spot. Wish me guys a good nap. Oh honey. Guys, all right, oof. Stopped and obviously I am well rested. Had a good two hour nap. Was you driving for two hours than that? Well, that's good. I've been driving all day. You said yes, I was. I'm, oh, why are you okay. all defensive? Okay, sorry. Excuse me. Oh, it's your birthday. Do it like it's my be day. Do it like it's my be day. Anywho, guys, we we are on the home stretch. Okay. Ooh. And um, how you feel doing that? A little tired. I've been driving for two hours plus straight while somebody else was sleeping. You had your snap time, but we have to get there because we have dinner reservations. Oh, we do? Yes, we do. Ooh. Like, you know when you slept hard and mm -hmm. you wake up, it's like, where are you? Mm. That's how I feel right now. But I can tell you where you are. Uh, You're behind that wheel, so you better come on out of it. Snap out. Snap out of it. <laughs> As we're on the home stress, we will see you once we make it to Denver. Do it like it's my B day. Do, do it like, like it's my B day. day. Do it like a mommy day. Okay, we're, we're done. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, we have finally made it to Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Wow. What a long journey that has been. Something that I wanted to mention you guys in a tip for driving on the road when it comes to gas and finding gas stations within your vehicle's mileage range. So in my vehicle, I have a button that tells me how many mileage I have to go before I'm on E. So with that, I use the iExit app and if you're on any interstate, it'll let you know which gas station is coming up on any of the exits. So today, what really saved my butt is I realized that my tank was like 50 miles before we weren't on E. And I was worried about finding a gas station before we ran out of gas. And I remember that I had this iExit app downloaded on my phone and it told me that 20 miles and the next 20 miles there is a gas station and also tells you the price of that particular gas at that exit so that is another tool that you can use when you're driving and driving long distances and just driving on the road period yeah download that it'll save your butt when you're driving on those interstates guys my mother's birthday is today um and we are going to go to eat we have reservations at 7 45 at vogel de, vogel de chow is it for the child? Yes. I personally have never been. She hasn't been and she doesn't even know that we're going. Um, but we love a good steak. So that's what we're going to do for tonight. I'm not going to take this camera with me because I want to be present and be in the moment with her on her 60th birthday. We have the next four or five days here in Denver. But I will see you guys in the morning. Yeah.
how you doing out there in the house tonight? Hey, hey. So, good afternoon. We are en route to the Rocky Mountain National Park. Decided to make a pit stop at this beautiful estate park, that what the sign says, I don't know. Um, and taking the scenery. Hey, little buddy. Don't you go on? Oh, you like sunflower seeds? Can I have some? Oh, no? Okay. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. It came right up to my shoe. Right on the side of the road, so you can probably hear all of the trucks and cars and stuff going by, but these chipmunks are brave. Alvin, hey Alvin. Like, he's coming right up to me. Alvin and his chipmunks is coming right up to me. All right, how was your pit stop? Seen your friends, Alvin? Yes, I seen Alvin, Calvin, and Ralph. I don't know about <laughs> Calvin, but I think Ralph is one of them. Let us know, Alvin. guys. Alvin, Ralph. No, Calvin, Calvin is not one of them. Cal yes, it is. Calvin is not. Calvin. Alvin. Ralph. It ain't Calvin. Calvin. Steven. No. Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> on our way. <laughs> Trekking on to the Rocky Mountains. All right, guys. So we are officially entered into the park. Mother is going to get behind the wheel. And I think I need to go to pee, though, before we get to do anything. Gathered our bearings. Mom is in the driver's seat. And we're just going to see what's, what's here at the Rocky Mountains National Park. How do you feel? Good. Wonderful. You got some peanuts? Yeah. Your snack? Protein. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, it is just such a beautiful, beautiful state park. I don't know if it's because it's about to rain or it's smoky, or that's just how the Rocky Mountains look, but it's so smoky, but it's so pretty. Like, look, it's so, maybe it's smoky, and maybe because it's been raining off and on, it's a little chilly. Get these shorts home. Mm -hmm. Ready to trek on? <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, I guess we're we'll right out here. But the trek on, y'all. Mm -hmm. Keep on exploring the Rocky Mountains. We are two miles above sea level, 10,560 feet. I'm having a hard time breathing. I don't know if it's still recovering from the experience. They said in that paper, you know. What'd it say? I'm nauseous. I'm just having a hard time breathing. What was I thinking? <laughs> Guys, I almost had a, I'm not gonna say near-death experience, but it was, it was touch and go. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped on the pull-off. I didn't bring you with me because it started to rain and all this other good stuff, right? But on the way back, it started to you know, trickle, so we tried to get back to the van a little sooner. Oh, it's so beautiful. Quickly. Quickly, right? And, you know, the net started to run, and I tried to follow suit. <laughs> and you can see I'm wheezing. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it didn't, it didn't end well. It didn't end well at all. <laughs> it took me about 10 minutes to catch up. My heart rate, oh yeah, let's stop here. That's a rainbow, you see it? What you scared me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. What's the rainbow? God's promise. The rainbow means God will never flood the earth again. Isn't that right, isn't that? Won't be water fire next time. Okay, well. <laughs> Guys, it's the rainbow. 
You see the rainbow? Oh, it's so beautiful. I think my near-death experience was worth this view. It's so beautiful. This rainbow, these mountains, this smoke, this view. Ugh. So beautiful. Okay, stopping at another stop. <sighs> this one seems a little, a little busy. Kind of remind me of Ireland, how green it is. Oh, we are at the Marmount Tundra. The what in it? Where we at? Rocky Mountain. No, no, what was the name of this place that we're at oh, now? This area. Ontario. No, I didn't, that's not what I said. <laughs> Marmount Tundra. Wow. She said Monteria. Life can be torn apart. Why couldn't I simply see that I was sick? All right, guys, so we are headed back down the mountain. The Rocky Mountains, I would say it's one of my favorites. So when it comes to this national park, you have to go online and purchase a $2 entrance permit from a certain time to a certain time. Our time was two to four, so we could enter any time between two and four and stay for however many long. But I think it's because they are trying to keep track of how many people are actually in the park and the parking spaces and blah, blah, blah. So um, it is, we entered at about two, two, two-ish. It is four now, and we are going to head back down the mountain and uh, see what else we can find up this way before we head back to Denver later on tonight. I will say that my new tires, it feels so great with Zion and her new shoes on. Zion, you got a new pair of shoes. Oh, okay, yeah. No. Okay, well, let's, let's let her pay attention because she's driving and we don't want no problems, no smoke here in the Rocky Mountains. This is 20 miles per hour, you're going about 60. No, it was 30. <laughs> we'll see you guys, if we make it. <laughs> Oof. Guys, we are back from our excursion at the Rocky Mountains National Park. Oh, what a day that has been. That park was undeniably one of the most beautiful national parks that I've been to. Granted, I haven't been to that many, but it was still good. Mom, it's a good one, right? She's probably in there asleep. Guys, I want to thank Karma once again for being the sponsor of today's video. So remember to click the link in the description box to download the app and start shopping smarter. I think that tomorrow is an, an adventurous day. Try out some e-bikes, go to Colorado Springs, the Garden of the Gods, but we'll save that for the next episode. Hey, don't miss it. Guys, I appreciate y'all as always. Y'all are the real MVP. Don't forget to stay inspired, keep dreaming, and be blessed. Oh, hey, really quick again. If you have not been in the comment section and told Danette happy birthday, then do so now. She'll she'll really enjoy it. I feel like I'm spitting all over the place. Am I spitting on my camera? Huh. Let's go up. I did go up. You supposed to go up. Yeah. You didn't go down. Oh, that's you? Yes. Yeah. Technically, yes, I'm back on the road. But since this one is with me, this we're one? staying. Well, I'm this talking one? to my friends. This one? I'm staying to my I'm talking to my friends. We are staying at a hotel. This one? Yes, this one. We're not about to in the van anyway for those seven days, okay? <laughs> See? I'm in Denver, Colorado. Hello out there in TV land. So today, what really saved my butt is I realized that I was at 50 miles before my tank. I don't want to hear none in the comments. Okay, let me just disclaim. Gotta have a shower. You got a shower right there. You got a shower right there. Oh, God. Oh, I hit my head. <laughs> New life. For me. You 
missing some words. I can say what I mean. No, no, we're going we're gonna to sing it correct. If you're going to sing it, we're going to sing it correct. <laughs> Y'all love her. She love you. I, and, I mean, I'm the middleman. I, I mean, should I not even be in the picture anymore? What's over there? Talking about the elks, the horns. <laughs> Whoa, you didn't want to hear that? You're gonna be here with the elks and the horns. <laughs> I hit my head on this tree. I was walking and I hit my head on the tree. That is the culprit right there. Hit your head. Right there. Mr. Kimball, are you alright? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For forever, how long? Yes. You got something? You got? Is there something wrong with the way I speak? Forever. For forever, how long? Is is, is that is? For how long? Okay. Forever, how long? <laughs> <laughs> My friends know know me by now. Thank you.